Hello everybody, welcome to another video and welcome to a new little series. Uh, I came up with this idea quite a while back now and I'm now starting to get around to uh, putting them out. A lot of people have asked me a lot of questions about PowerPC Max. What should I do with this? What should I do with that? What should I run on this? What should I run on that? And basically I just want to put it into a little video archive uh, going over the basics basically of what you can do to make your PowerPC Mac more useful in 2013, 2014, uh, whenever these videos start and end. So, today we're going to start at the very, very bottom and work our way up. Operating systems. What do you want to run, uh, what operating system do you want to run on your PowerPC Mac? So, in a similar way to how the using PowerPC uh, video was, it's going to be very modular, G3, G4, G5. Um, so, yeah, let's get started. So, G3. The G3 was, was used for a long time from Apple. Uh, f going by modern, modern Macs now, say, uh, starting with blue and white G3 Power Max, going all the way up to the 900 megahertz iBook G3s in 2003, I believe. Um, so, yeah, they were around for quite a while, and they are still usable for certain things. Um, I got a little 500 megahertz iBook over there. Uh, it, it surfs the web, does forums, emails, absolutely fine. Um, it's slow, but it does it. So what would what if you want to use your your G three for internet, which it's perfectly capable of? Uh, it's just going to be extremely slow. Um, run Tiger, you have to run Tiger. Panther, although it, it's it's older, Tiger would probably run. As good, if not better, than Panther. Tiger it really was rock stable and was a massive, massive improvement over anything Apple had uh, introduced with OS X prior to it. So yeah, any any G three, if you want to get it on the internet and you want to do semi modern tasks, you have to run Tiger. Forget about Panther. Forget about Jaguar, uh, and and especially forget about Cheetah, Puma, and uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> if you want to run uh, old games. Um, and yeah, even if you even if you want to do some really lightweight email stuff, OS nine is still a very viable option. I mean, OS nine is seriously old. Uh, Steve Jobs put it in a coffin over eleven years ago, so you you've got to come to terms that OS nine is is a vintage operating system, and you'd know that installing OS nine on on a machine in two thousand and thirteen. But OS nine is great. Um, Clasilla. And iCab out there, web browsers for OS 9 are semi-modern. Um, you can only do so much, though, with, with an operating system that's getting on 15 years old. Um, yeah, old games, stuff like that, OS 9, if you want to run stuff that's semi-modern and uh, get some sort of usability uh, in, in semi-modern tasks, you've got to run Tiger. G4. Um, G4, as I said in the Using PowerPC Mac video, it's is such an interest in machines all the whole sort of time period of of the when the G4s were around is just my absolute favorite um and again they they were produced for such a wide amount of time all the way up to 2006 with the with the transition uh, to Intel you've got really low end well I say low end it, beauty is in the eye of the beholder but uh You've got really low end uh, Power Mac G4s, 400 megahertz, and then you go in all the way up to uh, 1.42 gigahertz uh, dual processor MDD or 1.67 gigahertz PowerBook G4. Um, basically, as I said in the using PowerPC video again, uh, I have a little bit of a rule. If you have a G4 under 1.25 gigahertz, uh, doesn't have at least 768 megs of RAM and doesn't have a core image and core extreme uh, GPU, run Tiger on it. You'll be much, much happier, and Tiger still does have apps there that is supported. Uh, for example, 10 for Fox, um, and well, even the Keynote, iWork, stuff like that. It's still relatively modern, and any any G4 under 1.25 will absolutely love you forever if you run Tiger on it. it they really will. It's more down to the GPU, the core, core image, course extreme, but a G4 will really choke uh, under Leopard if it, if it has a poor graphics card. If you have a G4, a higher-end G4, uh, anything that's dual processor or a higher-end 2004, 2005, 2006 uh, PowerBook G4 with 
a core image course extreme i'm talking like a 9600 uh g4 g force 4 tie uh and anything like that anything that's sort of higher end run leopard on it the g4s are absolute beasts especially the later ones and everything maxed out i mean just check the specs 1.2 uh, 1.42 gigahertz mdd 2 gigs of ram uh, really decent gpu it's going to run leopard absolutely brilliantly and it's it's going to get your day-to-day -day tasks done without a single hitch or a problem uh an mdd or a high end power book they're they're both really awesome machines G5 then, uh, G5 is pretty simple, um, a 1.6 GHz baseline G5 is going to pretty much come out at the same sort of speed as a 1.25 GHz dual, uh, dual processor MDD, so just run Leopard on it man, just run Leopard on it, the G5s are absolute monsters and uh, in a similar way to the higher end G4s they'll just get through absolutely anything. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys, um, you got a little bit of a G5 introduction uh, going on in the background there. Not all the videos will just be audio, I will have uh, other stuff in the future based around the PowerBook um, in terms of like web browsers, YouTube, stuff like that, uh, Twitter, etc, etc. But yeah, as always guys, I'll see you in the next one. ta -ra.